Hi guys, welcome to Thrasone.com. This is Mohit Soni. And right in between a uh, pandemic, uh, we are bringing you our first real world review, a road test review of this motorcycle. We've been surprisefully and happily stuck with this motorcycle ever since uh, the lockdown began. And we've had some fair share of riding on this bike, not the usual 700-800 kilometers of road testing that we usually do, but we put it through many situations and this is going to be the same review but a bit of uh, twist is involved in it well uh, this motorcycle is one of those motorcycles which claims uh, that it can solve all our problems as motorcyclists we've been looking for good chassis good engine good adventure uh, motorcycles with good suspension to travel to off-road to do a lot uh, well this motorcycle claims that it can do it all and uh, despite its very very late entry into the indian market and world market because everybody has been waiting for it worldwide and everybody is going through a crisis right now worldwide uh, this motorcycle is here and it's claiming to be the best uh, well how's it been like well to begin with as you can see the styling it now comes from the 790 adventure it looks very purposeful very big very substantial the duke uh, that we're used to is very small but in uh, comparison to this uh, when you compare the duke to this it looks very very uh, it looks quite big it's not in uh, huge or uh, to uh, manage or anything or to to your eyes but it looks purposeful big enough uh, as a proper 400 cc ish mid-size motorcycle and the design is right it gets this rather hit or miss exhaust here uh, we've told you a lot about the design and everything from our first ride review the controversial first ride uh, press ride that happened which had a lot of things to be said by people who were not even there but nevertheless uh, this is the motorcycle led lights very bright you'll be surprised to know that uh, the spread the illumination is spot on and uh, if you and you're sitting up uh, you get a very good view and the entire road ahead of you is illuminated really well the only problem with these led lights are is that high beam uh, throw is not that far away but it's just adequate we are used to halogen lights which give a bit more high beam uh, i think that's the comparison but apart from that it does the job very well uh, we have these knuckle guards here we have adjustable levers on both ends these are good quality uh, I think the older, when the first Duke came out in 2013, they had better bark busters, uh, hand guards on them of higher quality. I think this feels a little bit more flimsy, but it can take a lot of beating before it cracks or breaks. Uh, you get this engine guard here, which comes typical of any motorcycle that leaves the Bajaj Chakan factory. And uh, yeah. That's what the motorcycle is about. Let's look at the suspension. Uh, this one is adjustable at the back. No front suspension uh, adjustability for the Indian version to keep price in check. And uh, that's the switch gear. Everything is high quality. Well, what's the 390 road test experience has been all about? Well, after spending almost two and a half months not doing much of riding outside the city, but within the city, whatever I could do, through my grocery runs and everything else just to keep the bike warm and ready uh, and uh, battery not to die uh, what i found out is that it's a very easy machine to live with i've been again commuting uh, uh, in certain traffic uh, which is light enough and uh, what i can tell you about the engine is that the heating has been taken care of you've heard about the two fans that are located here and here so these throw air from up here but uh, it, it throws exactly the air coming here so your thighs your legs your calves are completely away from that uh, ktm has managed to make sure that the air is thrown away from here so your legs will barely feel five percent of the heat if you are stuck in a very very big jam for let's say in half an hour or so then even the engine can start heating up but then again the older dukes had an issue where uh, this exhaust pipe here ran from the side and as you can see here thanks to uh, bs6 and i would literally like to thank bs6 the pipe has gone below the routing is from below to accommodate the that very large catalytic converter so this means that uh, 
the heating from the exhaust can also is taken care of uh, earlier it was done to make the packaging much more compact here they did not have much of that agenda uh, despite it's a uh, substantial bike it still is compact enough for our roads it's not that big or cumbersome to ride so that addresses the heating part and uh, let's talk about uh, how it rides so riding the KTM ADV 390 on the road finally we rode it on the uh, on the road while we were doing the first ride but that was a brief impression again whatever we could uh, ride in this uh, situation here right now that is in the country uh, what we can say is that uh, the bike is a very comfortable bike you sit over it uh, the suspension is very high on travel and that means it isolates you almost uh, from the road for what's happening below we went over some serious off-road uh, patches and broken roads of all sorts and we found that the isolation from the uh, the bad roads to the rider is very very less uh, we are used to the first generation and the second generation KTM 390 uh, Duke 390 which is you know transmits almost everything to the rider but seeing that pretty much same format uh, you know giving you that same pace and same power uh, but isolating you from everything I think that's the highlight that's the comfortable part of the ADV 390 that attracts a lot of customers and riders and uh, we're pretty sure that it will uh, that's going to be the highest selling point for this bike over its own cousins and uh, siblings and everything which is in the KTM Husqvarna Bajaj lineup that's available right now um, so like I said uh, it has long travel suspension that means that you get a lot of uh, high center of gravity and that means two things that you lose stability but you gain uh, flickability but uh, we know with KTMs they've been offering higher longer suspension travel but uh, that's there is no compromise on stability because the suspension is on the stiffer side at both ends I would like it to be more compliant uh, a bit more uh, comfortable but then uh, that's how ADV bikes adventure bikes are tuned but um, this is again we all know it's a GT bike more of a GT bike than an adventure bike uh, it uh, what it this current setup does is isolate you from the road to a very large extent it gives you more fuel range it gives you more comfort gives you more wind protection and this makes it a much more easier touring bike to live with uh, if Indians are not accustomed to the word GT much but uh, touring is what the word we associate with so this bike is going to be very high on touring it's got great lights I wish the illumination was a bit more but the spread is not of an issue obviously if uh, the hardcore touring guys will be putting on more lights and uh, that's going to solve uh, no problems it's just going to add more benefit and more ease of use and more safety to you and you to your ride apart from that uh, brakes come from the 2017 bike Gr good bike uh, good brakes good bite i would have preferred more but then again if you want more sportiness more braking power more uh, flickability less wheel base and sharper rake you will have to buy the duke 390 here i think it's still one of the best balances that you can find with a touring bike which can do a bit of off-roading a lot of off-roading in fact and uh, it can tour it can commute it can do your weekend rides it can do everything the in that sense that's the reason why i've been calling it gt because internationally uh bikes like these are gt bikes so that's the reason why it comes to my mind um apart from that well the engine again it's a basics engine we got a taste of it for the first time the 390 engine uh obviously there was the uh duke uh, that came along uh, earlier or uh, i think later but we got the first taste of the bs6 390 engine on the adv 390 it's very smooth very refined it's even more refined than the 2017 version and which was the first bs4 version this is now the first bs6 version it's a massive leap over the 2013 version almost anybody can ride this bike so smoothly the engine is very docile but at the same time i personally believe that uh, the power can be overwhelming the ride by wire sort of uh, disconnects you from uh, 
from the power that you're getting but earlier in the ride by wire uh, the normal uh, throttle cable wire in the first uh, two versions was actually um, made you uh, sorry in the first gen ktm duke 390 the power was much more in your face but you could you know feel it and control it and you could take care of it but here i think you're getting a bit more when you open the throttle and you're not feeling much of it so i would advise some caution and getting used to the throttle getting used to the throttle means that you will get used to the bike very quickly because the suspension responds to the throttle uh, the, the bike behaves when you control the throttle so it's very imperative that you learn this throttle control on this bike it can be very easy to uh, disc, uh, to distract you from a lot of things you need to keep that in mind uh, this is this advice comes from a first generation ktm uh, duke 90 owner i think that's the biggest thing i notice every time i ride the 2017 one the 2020 duke the 2017 duke 390 and now the adv 390 bs6 as well um good tires good suspension good brakes good comfort the seat is good for the rider as well as pillion i think there is hardly anything to fault with the ktm adventure 390 the pricing well uh, it did go up but again it remains good value for money uh, given it's a ktm motorcycle there are certain changes there are a lot, lot of ecu updates coming in there are some silent recalls happening uh, apart from that um, I think the KTM ATV 390 has everything what we ever wanted. It's come at the right price. All of us uh, uh, expected a higher price, but KTM has delivered the right price with the ATV 390. It can do anything and everything you ever wanted uh, with the right amount of pace, the right amount of suspension, uh, tuning and good hardware, a good quality bike. There's absolutely no corners cut. It's got obviously the suspension is gone and we're not getting all of that from international range but that's a different story altogether um, like I said I can keep on saying it again and again that uh, the ADV 390 KTM Adventure 390 is the best bike you can get right now it can do everything and anything that you ask it from I think that's the biggest and the highest praise that we can give for this motorcycle after spending a lot of time Nevertheless, we'll be spending more time with this bike and writing reports on our website so you can look into that. Subscribe to our channel for all uh, such videos. Um, like us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.